So far, we've seen only equations in which the expressions on either side were in simplest form. But sometimes when we create an equation based on an application, we end up with more complicated expressions on either side. So, for example, we might end up with an equation that looks like this. Here we have an equation that says 0 0.07 times x plus 0 0.12 times 25 minus x equals 0 0.1 times 25. In order to be able to solve this equation, we must first simplify the expressions on either side. Now notice, I said that we were going to simplify the expressions on either side. That means that we're going to need to perform a series of simplifying steps. We're going to get an equivalent expression to those on either side, but in simpler form. While we're simplifying, we can only take simplifying steps. We can rewrite subtraction as adding the opposite or the other way around. We can rewrite division as multiplication. We can apply the distributive property. And we can rearrange terms and combine like terms. We cannot take solving steps. Well, we're only working with the expression on one side of the equation. We can't add a number to both sides because we're only working with one side. We can't multiply by a number on both sides because we're only working with one side. All right, so let's actually do this. Let's simplify the two expressions on either side of this equation. So the expression on the left starts at point zero 0.07 and ends at the end of these parentheses, right? It's everything to the left of the equals sign. So we have 0.07x plus 0.12 times 25 plus negative x. I've gone ahead and written that as plus the negative. Now I'm going to simplify this term by distributing the point one two. So let's see. The 0 0.07x I'm just going to copy plus point one two times 25 that sounds like a job for the calculator. We'll take 0 0.12 times 25, that's 3, and then 0 0.12 times negative x is just negative 0 0.12x. Okay, now my like terms are this 0.07x and this negative 0.12x. So I've got 0.07x plus 0.12x, negative, plus 3. And I add my 0.07 plus negative 0.12. And I get negative 0.05x plus 3. Okay, that's my expression on the left simplified. My expression on the right, that's a little simpler. I've just got 0 0.1 times 25. Work that out, I get 2.5. Okay, now I can go back to the original equation. Right, I've got negative 0.05x plus 3 
and that's going to be equal to 2.5. Now we know what to do, right? Our variable is on the left. First we'll get rid of the constant. So I want a negative 3 on both sides because the negative 3 cancels out the positive 3. On the left, I'm left with 0.05x. On the right, I have 2.5 minus 3. And I get negative 0.5. Now, I need to get rid of that negative 0.05 on the right. I'll multiply both sides by 1 over that. On the left, that cancels out. On the right, I'm going to understand that as division. So I'll have x equals negative 0.5 divided by negative 0.05. Maybe you can see right away what this is going to be. If not, it's 10. And we get x equals 10 for our solution. Let's take a minute and check that. We've got 0 0.07 times 10 plus 0 0.12 times 25 minus 10. That's going to be 0 0.07 times 10 plus 0 0.12 times 15. And now I'm going to put that in the calculator, 0 0.07 times 10 plus 0 0.12 times 15. And I really do get 2.5. So notice, what were my steps here? When I encountered an equation in which the expressions on one side or the other could be simplified, first we simplified both sides separately, then we got rid of the constant, and then finally we got rid of the coefficient. And that's the whole process for solving an equation, as long as the variable only shows up on one side.